Hi guys, it's the Saro. Um, happy New Year. I thought I'd start off the year with a nice nature-esque video. It's a really nice day out. It's really pretty out here. But I am next to a road, so if you hear anything like, that sounds like a car. It's a car. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about resolutions. Um, I have a very peculiar way of doing resolutions that makes sense to me. My birthday is early in the year. I don't m make any goals around January 1st. I tend to make them around January 7th because that's my birthday. Surprise, surprise. It's just easier for me to categorize my year that way. So instead of saying, oh, for like 2015, this is what I wanted to do. Um, instead, I'll say like for the time that I was 18 years old, this is what I wanted to do. It's New Year and I had my birthday and I'm 19 and I was looking back at the resolutions I made last year. I don't remember making all of them, so as far as really recognizing whether or not I completed all of them, I'm pretty sure that's an obvious sign that I didn't because I forgot about some of them, but it's cool. I thought this would be interesting because like I always hear about people's resolutions and I never hear about how they end, so I should. thought I'd share mine with you. I have six. Which, yeah, I don't remember making that many. I thought I only had like two. Um, but I have them written down on my phone from last year. And these are the things that I wanted to do when I was 18. So the first goal I had is to learn a new language. At this time, I had just started learning German on my own. And um, yeah, it says here that um, I really want to stick with it because I think I can learn German on my own and I'd like to be able to read a children's book in German by the end of the year. So technically I didn't meet that concrete goal. Um, I have started a children's book in German. And I'm not done with it. It's a very slow read for me because I'm very, very new and I haven't taken German classes. I'm really only working off of Duolingo, which is a lot of fun um, and also like German music and like German kids shows that sort of thing so it's very much informal i didn't meet my concrete goal but i did stick with german at least a little bit and i considered this a partial success <laughs> uh, my second goal was to take chances i play it safe all the time and i just want to take some shots not not alcoholic shots but like i don't know what that means just yet but i'll figure it out um, okay, so did I take chances in 2015 and at the age of 18? I think I did, but they're not the kind of chances that I think a lot of people might think of. I didn't have any like crazy wild adventures, but I did make lots of leaps of faith. Um, for example, I accepted the school that I'm currently attending um, without ever having visited the campus. Um, yeah, I didn't know what campus looked like until I went to orientation and it was fine. It, it is fine. I love my school, but yeah, I, I made those kinds of decisions. My next and third goal is or was to be accepting. Um, it says here that I'm not taking my upcoming birthday well. I was turning 18 and I didn't want to grow up, uh, but I also didn't want to stay a teenager either. <laughs> Nothing changes for me when I'm 18. And my goal with this isn't necessarily to change the things that I don't like, but to be more accepting of them, especially because some aspects are out of my control. Look, um, when I was turning 18, I was still living in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates with my family, obviously, because I hadn't moved out yet, hadn't finished school yet. So the rules here and regulations here are a little bit different than in the United States. and. Um, there's just a combination of factors that were difficult for me because I had done online schooling and I'd lived overseas for so long. There were a lot of milestones that I hadn't met and to be quite frank, still haven't met. I was having a really hard time with that. Like I had never gone to like a school dance. I'd never um, at this time gone on a date. I didn't have my driver's license and um, you know, it was just a whole combination of things that I felt like I was really lagging behind. While I understand that all of these milestones are very exclusive to like Western culture and they're very much arbitrary, um, it still bothered me a lot. But yeah, um, so my goal actually was very good. It wasn't to change these things. I wasn't suddenly going to like accomplish all these things in a month, like going to prom, or having a sweet 16, or getting a boyfriend, or driving around um, with my friends. I wasn't, my intention was never to just 
go through with them for the sake of doing it. It was more to kind of just be aware of the differences that I have um, when compared to other teenagers and kind of just be more accepting of the way that my life has played out. And I think that's definitely happened. Some things have changed. I now have like a really cool group of friends at university and that's a lot of fun. But there are some things that have like stayed the same. Like I don't have my driver's license yet. I have a permit, but it's, it's different. I realized that this year, when the year was coming to a close and my birthday was coming up, these things didn't bother me as much and I really don't think about them anymore. So that's awesome and I completely, completely nailed that goal. Nailed it, got it, <laughs> succeeded, check plus. So my fourth goal was to remain motivated even when I'm doing things I don't want to. I've been struck by a block in creativeness. If I stay motivated in my schoolwork, then it'll motivate me to stay active on my blog and that sort of thing. So that was my goal and I don't want to say that my motivation decreased or my inspiration decreased this year. I definitely was not as active on my blog, on the YouTube channel, and on Thing I do with spark notes as much as I would have liked it was just hard for me to find the time because the first half of 2015 was very tumultuous I was still figuring out what university I was going to go to my first semester at uni I was still adjusting and I wanted to get the best grades I could there were a lot of factors that continued to kind of get in my way and I let them get in my way I definitely don't think I stuck with this goal at all um, I've put out things that I'm really proud of and I have some posts and videos that I'm just super like over the moon with how they came out. I just want to be able to do that more regularly. My fifth goal was to be active. I like running and I ideally want to be able to run a half marathon and um, race one with a friend or with my mom. What I didn't take into account was that there would be clubs for me to join at university. Um, so this first semester I did MMA and that was a lot of fun. Definitely got really sweaty all the time and I was always sore. I didn't stay on top of running as much as I would have liked. I don't think I did very many races. Did I do any races in 2015? But I do have one coming up in April, a 10K that I'd like to do. Um, but as far as kind of like keeping my personal tabs on running, I did keep up with that. Um, that's actually how I was able to figure out my university's layout, um, I would just run, just run around, and um, eventually I was able to piece together where everything was. I, I did good on this goal. I stuck, stuck with it in a different way, and I took a different route, but but definitely not, not disappointed. So my sixth and final, and what I consider to be the most important goal, and um, what really actually stuck with me this year, <laughs> My main goal is to be happy. I'm not sure what that means yet. And I think for me, it means doing what I love and being surrounded by people who support that. And spot on, I've learned a lot this year um, of being 18 and recognizing what it means for me to be happy and recognizing that the life that I live is mine, which sounds, it, it sounds <laughs> obvious, right? Um, like, duh, you know, nobody ever tried to convince me that the life I was living was theirs. However, it was so easy for me to get caught up in what other people wanted and what other people thought of me. Right, Bird? Right? I would let it influence every single decision I made in my life. And God, that's no way to live for me. Um, I have taken steps to being happy and that means doing the things that I love and pursuing a direction that I want to pursue and being more vocal about what I like and what I dislike and what I believe in because I've just, my whole life, I kid you not, I've just been very much aware of what other people wanted from me and what other people expected from me and I'm not going to completely disregard what other people say, especially because my close friends and family have my best intentions at heart but just because they have their, my best intentions doesn't mean that they're right and that doesn't mean I need to do exactly what they say. Was I happy? We're, we're getting there. We're getting there and I'm not satisfied. I'm not completely 
100% where I want to be, but that just takes time, honestly. As far as how I'm feeling right now in this very moment, I am as happy as I can be, and I think that's pretty cool. So those are my resolutions that I had for the age of 18. I think I did kind of okay. I at least stuck with some of them for the whole year, and I think that's something to be proud of. If you want to see what my resolutions are for the age of 19 in 2016, guess you'll just have to stay tuned for the whole year. <laughs>